It's important for me to tell my story because I know that there are others like me, younger, perhaps still not out, who need to hear it. And it's important for me to tell my story because I want it preserved. I want people like me, Latina women, Puerto Rican women, lesbians, butch women, to have a history that is told and preserved for future generations. I should perhaps not generalize, but I think it's important to everybody to have something that stays after we're gone. I mean, it would be very nice if a hundred years from now, my name isn't going to be on a building. It could be, but I decided not to do that. So it would be very nice if somebody had something that would remind them of me, of my existence. We don't live in a vacuum. We are what we are because of what came before. And very importantly, what came before in the gay community is why everybody has what they have today. And I, I think to tell our story will help other people uh, maybe pick up some clues or some hints from that. Um, and, and, and maybe that's what we want to leave behind. Um, that Maybe that's part of our legacy, um, to leave um, um, the story of our life and what worked for us. So maybe it'll work for someone else. History is important because if you don't understand how things combined and see the patterns that history can provide. You have a hard time understanding the present, it seems to me. And if you don't understand the present, you can't build the future. I figured if I can get this out to many different places, if it gets crushed in some place, there'll be another copy somewhere else. I'm like one of the oldest people probably in your collection of people. I believe in addressing the needs of older people, younger people. I've talked about younger people needing us and books in the libraries and so forth. But I think something like Outwards is a very worthy project. You're doing your part to catch some of us who are still here. <laughs>